If you implement this little strategy, you're going to be ahead of 99% of the other installers out there. Hey guys, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, one of the most important things you should have in your arsenal as a security installer. And that is the test bench. We have a few here, but I'm just going to show you what one of ours looks like. And I'm going to explain to you how this is going to make you money. So let's just focus on one of our little stations we have here. We Here at Nelly's, we have many. For most of you guys, all you need is one little testing station. And I'll explain the anatomy of one of our testing stations. First, let's talk about the table. These tables, I love. We have several of them here in our warehouse. These are just a simple packing table. And we get them at Uline, the shipping and supplies place. Just hop on Uline, U-L-I-N-E dot com, and search for packing tables. These particular tables cost about $200 to $300, and they are like indestructible, um, super heavy duty. They're adjustable height. You can actually get them in different tops, um, like you can get them in steel top, you can get them in maple top, but we get the cheapest kind, which is a composite top. They're still, still really super strong. The reason why I like using a packing table as one of my test benches is because they're waist high. And, and you know, when I'm bench testing something, I don't want to like pull up a chair and sit down. I just, I want a nice big table where I can kind of like spread stuff out and I don't have to sit down. I can walk around. I just kind of like to do things on the fly as fast as possible. I like to have everything as efficient as possible. And that's how we have this test bench set, set up. Let's take a look under the hood of the table here. And this is another great reason why I love these tables. They come with a little shelf that you can put underneath the table. I like to put a POE switch as well as a PC right under there. And then I have the rest of the shelf to put other stuff. And normally what we do, whenever you guys call in, <clears throat> we'll sometimes pull items off the shelf and bring it over here and do some testing on it. We'll pull the item out of the box, put it on top of the table there, and we'll put the box under there just to keep everything as clean as possible here you know trust us it can get really messy really quick but um you know right here we have a just a 12 volt dc power supply you know you're going to need one of those eventually when you're testing uh, video surveillance stuff and it's pretty cool on this little power supply we kind of rigged up something here some of the dvrs have this weird connector right here and then some other dvrs have this connector um, so basically, we rigged this little power supply up to work with all types of DVR connections that use 12 volt DC. And I like to keep my PoE switch and my PC underneath because there's no reason for it to uh, take up space on your big, you know, bench testing area. On every one of our stations, we have a PC with the monitor right there. And then we have just a regular monitor where we can hook up DVRs to. You know, all these monitors are actually 1080p. I mean, I got them a long time ago. If I if I was going to buy new monitors today, I'd buy at least 4K monitors because, you know, a lot of the video surveillance products come out are, you know, going up to 4K now. So I'd re definitely recommend that. So all you need is a PC monitor and a regular monitor to hook up a DVR to. Here we have a couple mice and some USB sticks. We like to keep mice here at Nelly's just laying on the table because whenever we pull DVRs off the shelf to test, we don't want to pull the mouse out of the package, out of the plastic. Um, and then you're always going to need USB sticks for something. So we have it out here nice and ready for us. And let's take a look at this PoE switch again. You're going to need a PoE switch on your test bench um, if, you're, if you're doing IP cameras. I have this cable going over here. And then I have it kind of looping up, just kind of out of the way. I have this little double-sided tape thing where it just holds the cable. And that those are all PoE connections. Um, it, it's right there nice and handy for us i actually have some more going over to this little station right here and um, normally what i would do on this station we don't have one yet but um, we have some over here i like to put a power strip up on the wall so kind of like that one so this one has a power strip as you know poe cables coming into it again a little monitor for your computer and then your monitor to hook up your DVR with. So it's like literally just ready to go, super efficient. That's how you should make a test bench. It needs to be super efficient with all the tools that you need. And you need to kind of get all the stuff off the test bench that you can, try to get out of the way. Put your PoE switch and your PC down below um, because whenever you want to put products on, you want a nice big wide open space to, to lay them out and play with them.
So we have one rule here at Nelly's, and that is to keep our bench testing area very clean. I mean, sometimes we'll we'll test things overnight, and we'll just leave it on the on the bench, and that's completely fine. But it's also quite easy when you're getting really busy to uh, just test something and leave it there and kind of forget about it. We're trying to get in the habit of just kind of keeping everything clean, because when it starts getting really messy, which is really easy to do. Um, you become less enthusiastic about bench testing. Um, and, and I can see how easily this big, nice open platform will be enticing to st store stuff on. Just uh, keep your little bench testing area nice and clean, um, nice and efficient. And if you do that, you're gonna have a lot of success. The reason why you're gonna make money using a test bench is out on the field whenever you go to install a camera, a lot of things can go wrong. There's so many variables in play when it comes to installing security stuff. Using the uh, test bench, you can test things before you go out in the field, before you do the installation to ensure everything works. And I, I know that sounds kind of silly, but trust me, it's gonna give you a lot of confidence um, because let's just say uh, you go out in the field and you let's say you install a camera, right? And it doesn't pull up on your NVR. Well, if you if you didn't do a bench test on that camera first, your your immediate reaction may be this camera is defective. You know we have a very liberal return policy here at Nelly Security, and we intentionally do that because we want to kind of be hassle free. Uh, but we often get a lot of returns back where there's nothing at all wrong with the product. And it, it was most likely <clears throat> due to, you know, just some kind of variable out on the installation that was making that particular product not pull up or a camera not pull up or whatever. So if you do a bench test before you go out on the job site, it's just going to give you that confidence because let's say you go out there and the camera doesn't pull up. Well, if you would have bench tested that camera before you went out on the job site, you could say, okay, I bench tested this camera. It's not pulling up, so there's probably something else here at play. Maybe there's a IP conflict. Maybe I didn't wire my cable right or something like that. When I say make money, it really comes down to saving money. And whenever you do uh, bench testing, you're going to save money. Let's just say you have a large IP camera job. You know, you can save a lot of money by getting things set up as much as possible before you go out on the job site here on your test bench. Let's say you have an NVR and you're using a separate PoE switch. Why not just put all the equipment here and set up all the IP addresses before you go out on the job site? This is assuming you have all their network information, which it would take, you know, just a few minutes to find that out. But the more you can get set up here on this test bench, the more it's gonna save you time out on the job site. Everybody knows in this in this industry, time is money. So if you can get as much things set up here, it, it reduces errors as much as possible. It reduces your guys running around and troubleshooting out in the job site, which is, you don't want to troubleshoot on the job site. You want to troubleshoot as much as you can here on your test bench. So if you implement this little strategy, you know, you're going to be ahead of 99% of the other installers out there. The more time you save on that job site, the more money you're going to make and the more time you have to go on to the next job site.